believe this, guys. I'm already on level 100 on Fortnite. Really, bro? That's awesome. Yeah, good luck on that. I hear level 100 is tough to beat. Yeah, bro. I'm not even on level 100 yet. Me neither, but I'm close. I'm on level 96, I think. What level are you on, Rai? I'm only on level 73. I'm still catching up. Don't worry, bro. You'll get there eventually. Hey, what do you guys think you're doing? You're in my classroom now. You have to follow the rules. Now take your seats. Okay, jeez. Miss Jones doesn't let us have any fun. Yeah, man, she's such a party pooper. Hey, who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Yeah, she's probably new. Dude, obviously. Hi, I'm Emma. What's your name? My name's Marissa. Are you new? Yeah, I just moved here. That's cool. Where are you from? Massachusetts. Cool. Like what part? Sunset Valley. Sunset Valley? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's a pretty small town. Hey Emma, have you ever been to Boston? Yeah, my dad always used to take me to Red Sox games. Whoa, she's really cute. Ooh, looks like Ryan has a crush. You have a crush on Emma, Rye? Guys, stop. I do not have a crush on her. Yes, you do. You just called her cute. Yeah, bro. You have the hots for her. No, I do not. Hey, Emma, would you like to sit with me and my friends during lunch? Sure, I'd love to. All right, all right. That's enough talking for now. Or the only place you'll be having lunch is in here with me. Got it? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hey, new kid, come up to the front of the room. Okay. Kids, this is Emma Martin. She's a new student here, and starting today, she will be joining our class. So yeah, be nice to her, make her feel welcome, and so on. Now you, go back to your seat. Excuse our teacher. She can be very impatient. Is she always like this? Most of the time, yeah. She's rarely ever in a good mood. Yeah, Emma, she's a miserable person. Ugh, I want her to be my girlfriend so bad. She's so hot. Hey, Ryan, quit staring at the new girl. So you do have a crush on her. I knew it. Okay, okay, I admit it. I think she's cute and I really like her. Now, if only I could get her to notice me. Easy. Talk to her. Yeah, bro. Go up to her and say hi. I can't. I don't know what to say. Not only that, but she's not going to want to talk to me. She's a girl. She wants to hang out with other girls, not us guys. Come on, bro. You're just being shy. Yeah, you're just making excuses. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of a girl. Maybe my mom can help me. She's a girl. Hey, if you three don't stop talking, then you're getting detention. Now get to work. Okay, Miss Jones. Jeez. The solo home run is first time up. He was on an old Hey there, Daisy. How are you, girl? Hey, buddy. How was school? Hey, Dad. School was good. Where's Mom? She went to Walmart to get a few things. She should be back soon. Hey, Dad, guess what? What, honey? Well, there's a new girl at my school, and she's really cute. I really like her. Aw, what's her name? Her name is Emma. Now, how do I get her to notice me? My friends are suggesting I talk to her, but I don't know what to say. What if she doesn't like me back? How did you get Mom to notice you, Dad? Oh, honey, you shouldn't be thinking about that kind of thing at your age. You're too young. I'm 11, Dad. I'm not a little kid anymore. I'm at that age now where I'm starting to like girls. I'm growing up, Dad. Just don't try to grow up too fast, honey. You'll have plenty of time for relationships as you get older. For now, just focus on being a kid. Ugh, stop treating me like a baby. I'm not treating you like a baby, Ryan. I'm just saying that you're too young to date, that's all. I'll be upstairs. That's down, ball four. That'll be the first walk Jess? Jess, are you home? Okay, Grace. So, like, there's this movie called Missing that just came out. And I really want to see it. It stars Storm Reed. 
Is that the girl from Euphoria? Yeah. Anyway, I was wondering if you, like, wanted to go see it this weekend. I don't really have any plans, and it would be fun. Yeah, sure. Great. Awesome. I'm gonna see if, like, Olivia wants to come, too. Cool. Ryan, don't you ever knock? Jess, I need some advice. Okay, but, like, you can't just barge into my room, Rye. Grace is here. Hey. Hey, so I have a question. What kinds of things make you like a boy? What do boys say to you to get you to like them? Do they come up and talk to you, or do you talk to them first? How does it work? Ryan, why are you asking me these questions? Yeah, like, are you trying to impress a girl? Well, yeah. Who? Well, her name is Emma. She's new. She just transferred to our school, and she's in my social studies class. She's really cute. She has cute blonde hair, blue eyes, freckles, everything. She's perfect, and she even has the perfect body. Okay, Rye, but like, I thought you always had a crush on Brianna. Wait, are you talking about Brianna Taylor? Yes, I am, Grace. Ooh, you have a crush on Brianna, Ryan? No, why do you think that? I just figured, like, you always talk about how much you love her, how she's your favorite of my friend group. Wait, what are you talking about, Jess? It's true, Grace. Now, Ryan doesn't really like to hang out with us girls. He mostly prefers to hang with the boys. But he loves Brianna. Like, whenever she comes over, Ryan follows us everywhere. Like, literally everywhere. I've been friends with her since, like, first grade, and it's been this way ever since. It's so annoying. But thankfully, Bree doesn't seem to mind. In fact, she loves him, too. She's always so sweet to him. Yeah, Jess, like, Brianna is literally the sweetest. I don't blame you, Ryan. Yeah, Brianna's nice, but I've never had a crush on her. She's two years older than me, and also she's Jess's friend. So she's out of the question. This girl, Emma, is actually my age. I just need to find a way to talk to her without looking stupid. I really want her to like me. Ryan, aren't you, like, a little young to be thinking about this kind of stuff? I mean, you're just a kid. You're not old enough to be in a relationship, right? Ugh, not you too. Dad said the same thing when I asked him for advice. I thought you'd be cooler about this, Jess. Ryan, it's not like I'm criticizing you or anything. I'm just telling you my opinion, that's all. Personally, I think you're too young to have a girlfriend. But like, if you really want to win this girl over, then just go up to her and say hi. Ask her questions about herself. Make small talk with her. Oh, and most importantly, always be yourself. Never pretend to be someone you're not. That's a huge turn off. Like, you want a girl to like you for you, Rai. Nothing else. Okay, okay. I'll go up to her and talk to her. Guess that's the only way to get her to notice me. And I'll be myself, don't worry. But what if she doesn't like me? Even if she doesn't like you, Rai, that doesn't mean you won't find your soulmate one day. There are so many great girls out there. Like, if one doesn't work out, then you'll find another one eventually that does. Yeah, Ryan. And what's not to like? You're really cute. Like, I would go out with you. You have cute freckles and beautiful blue eyes. And I also love the way your hair is styled. Do you use hair gel? Okay, Grace. Like, that's a little awkward. He's my brother. Also, like, I thought you liked blonde guys. I do, but, like, Ryan's an exception. Ryan, any girl would be really lucky to go out with you. You're, like, totally hot. Uh, thanks? I hope Emma thinks the same way. All right, Rye. Can you, like, give Grace and I some privacy? Like, things were all chill and good until you barged in here. And now you've, like, put me in an awkward situation with Grace and everything. I gave you advice. Now please leave. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll leave you guys alone. I'll go play Xbox or something. Thanks for the advice, Jess. Finally. I'm sorry my brother is so annoying. It's okay, Jess. So yeah, just let me check with my mom to see if I can go see the movie this weekend. Okay, great. It should be fun, and maybe we can, like, go to the mall afterwards, too. Sounds fun. Let's plan it. Yeah. yeah. Did you guys watch the game last night? RJ Barrett scored three points. Yeah, man, he's unorthodox. Barrett is hands down one of the best team players. Go Knicks! Right, what do you think? 
Wait, what are you guys talking about? Dude, you've been staring at Emma the whole lunch. Just go talk to her already, man. I want to go talk to her, but I'm just too shy. I might say something stupid that'll make her not like me. I don't want to humiliate myself. But Ryan, if you don't say anything to her, then how will she ever know who you are? Yeah, man, don't expect her to talk to you first. You've got to make the first move. Now's your chance, bro. It's lunchtime, and she's right over there. Go for it. I can't. I'm too nervous. Ugh, look at how cute she looks in her floral dress and pink cardigan. I want her so bad. Guys, what are we gonna do? He's too nervous. How in the world are we gonna get this girl to notice him? Hey, Ryan, you want me to talk to her for you? Dude, are you serious? No! Are you trying to make me look bad? Yeah, Luke, you're gonna embarrass him. He needs to do it himself. Come on, guys. Caden told Miss Allen that I had a crush on her and she still liked me. That's different, bro. Miss Allen is an adult, while Emma is just a kid. Yeah, kids are more judgmental than adults, especially in middle school. I don't care. I'm going over there. I'll be right back. Wait, Luke, where are you going? Luke! Dude! Hey, Emma? Um, hey? Hey, Luke. Hey, guys. Anyways, Emma, see my friend Ryan over there? Uh, yeah? What about him? Well, he really likes you and thinks you're cute. He wants to ask you out, but he's too shy, so I'm doing it for him. Okay, that's nice. Look at that, bro. She waved at you. Yeah, but why did Luke have to go over there? This is so humiliating. Calm down, man. Luke was just helping you out. Yeah, and she waved at you, Ryan. That was nice. Yeah, it is nice. But does it mean she likes me back? Seems like it. It probably means she does. I hope so. That would make me very happy. All right, Emma, so you can go ahead and take a seat here next to Ryan. So this week, we're just working on our sketch drawings. So you can go ahead and open up your sketchbook. Now, you can draw whatever you want, and I'll be grading you based on your perspective, abstraction, and such. I recommend sticking to drawing what you're best at, whether that would be dogs or nature, anything you can think of. Okay, how about a sun? Perfect. So if you have any questions, I'll be right over at my desk. And if you need any help, just let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Okay, thanks Miss Finley. Hey. Hey. So like, your friend came up to me and told me that you like, have a crush on me. I'm confused. Do you have a crush on me? Ugh, yes I do, Emma. I'm sorry, this is so embarrassing. But you're just really cute. Emma is such a cute name. Plus I love your hair and your freckles and everything else about you. You don't need to be sorry. It's okay to have feelings. And I think you're cute too. Wait, you do? Yeah, you also have cute freckles. And like, you're just an overall really handsome boy. Okay, thanks. No, I would totally go out with you, Ryan, but I'm not allowed to date. My parents say I'm too young. What? Oh man. I'm really sorry, Ryan. At least we can still be friends. Yeah, we can be friends. And you don't have to be sorry, Emma. It's just that my parents say the same thing. Oh, Ryan, you're too young to date. Oh, you shouldn't worry about this stuff at your age. Blah, blah, blah. It's so annoying getting treated like a baby. Don't you agree that it's annoying? Yeah, it's very annoying, but like, we're only in sixth grade. We have plenty of time. Yeah, I guess that's true. Hey, Ryan, do you have any siblings? I have one older sister, Jessica. She's in 8th grade. So, like, she goes here too? Yeah, she does. She's a cheerleader. Okay, cool. And do you have any hobbies? I like to play basketball. I'm on the basketball team here at Brindleton Middle School. That's cool. Anything else? I also like to play my Xbox. My favorite games are Fortnite and Call of Duty. Cool. I have an older brother. He loves Call of Duty. He plays it all the time on his PlayStation thing. 
Yeah, Call of Duty is addictive. I got the latest installment for Christmas and went through a phase over the break where I was obsessed with it. Like I couldn't stop playing it. It was so bad that I would actually stay up until 2 or 3 a.m. playing. Oh no, that's not good. Like, I'm glad you were able to get over your obsession. Yeah, I'm glad too. I mean, I still play, just not to the extremes that I did then. That's good. Hey, everything A-OK -okay over here? Yes, Miss Finley, everything's great. That's good. I need to say, I'm very impressed with your son. Your line work is very neat. And I also love how you drew a little face on it. That's very cute. Thanks. Now tell me, how'd you learn to draw like that? Well, I've loved to draw since I was a little girl, and I got good at it, I guess. Wow, that's really cool. So where'd you move here from? Massachusetts. Ooh, I love Massachusetts. I have a friend who lives there. Oh, cool. Hey, Miss Finley, how long have you been working here? This is my 11th year, believe it or not. I'm 11. So, like, you started working here when I was just a baby? That's right. Anyway, I just came over to see how things were going. I'm happy to see they're going well. And also, another thing, I host the art club every Wednesday after school. So if you're interested in joining, let me know. Sounds fun. I'll think about it. Miss Finley is my most favorite teacher ever. I love her so much. Yeah, she's really nice. Miss Jones is a sourpuss, isn't she? Yeah, she is. And she always complains about her husband during class. Apparently he's an alcoholic or something like that. Why is she married to him then? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it either. And who would marry that mean-spirited whale? Miss Jones is bad, but my least favorite teacher is my math teacher, Miss Allen. I like Miss Allen. She's nice. You have her too? Yeah, fourth period. I have her six, period. She seems nice when you first meet her, but really, she's a two-faced prick. And her voice is so high-pitched. She sounds like a chipmunk. Well, she can't help it if that's her real voice, Ryan. I know, but still. And my one friend who came up to you today, Luke, he's obsessed with her. He talks about her all the time, and he even spends his lunch with her most days. Now me, I go to Miss Allen during lunch maybe once or twice a week to get some extra help with math because it's my weakest subject. But Luke, he doesn't need any help at all. In fact, math is his strong suit. But he goes to Miss Allen's room during lunch just to see her. He has a huge crush on her, Emma, and it's been this way since the beginning of the school year. I mean, like, how could you blame him? Miss Allen is very attractive. Yeah, but she's twice his age. Thankfully, she doesn't seem to have a problem with him coming in during lunch. In fact, he's her favorite student. At least he's one of her favorites. Really bothers me how she always gives him special treatment compared to the rest of the class. Special treatment? That's not fair. No, it's not. I agree with you, Emma. Hey, guys. Hey, Mom. So, how was school? Fine. Hey, guess what, Mom? I talked to Emma today. Really? Yeah, I got her to notice me. With a little bit of help from Luke, of course. Anyway, she's very nice, and it turns out she likes me, too. Ooh, there she is! That's her, Mom! The one with the short blonde hair! That's Emma? Yeah! Bye, Ryan! I'll see you tomorrow! Hey, wait! Come here! So you must be Emma. Yeah, hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Angela, I'm Ryan's mom. Ryan has told us so much about you. That's nice, it's nice to meet you too. Aww, aren't you cute? So how do you like it here so far? Um, it's okay. I really miss my old house, and also I had to say goodbye to all of my friends. But like, everyone has been really nice to me since I got here, and I'm starting to make some new friends. That's good. It's always nice to look on the positive side of things, right? Yeah, I guess. Hi, I'm Jess. I'm Ryan's older sister. Welcome to Brindleton. 
Thanks. Ryan told me about you during art today. So you're in eighth grade? Yes, I'm going into high school next year. I'm like so excited. Middle school is literally the worst, and I like can't wait to get out. Well, congratulations on graduating this year. That's great. Thanks. And also, I love that outfit. Your style is so cute. I love how you match the dress with the cardigan, and also the matching sneakers. Thank you. My mom let me pick out some new clothes to help me adjust to the move. I actually just got this cardigan. And these shoes. Pink is my favorite color. Wow, that's really cool. Hey Emma, you need a ride home? No thanks, my mom is picking me up. Okay, well it was nice meeting you, honey. It was nice meeting you too. And also, we'd love to have you over sometime. If you know my kids, they're always having friends over. They don't even ask me first if they can come over. Their friends just come over whenever they want. And they're always welcome. My mom is the coolest, isn't she? Yeah, she's really nice. Oh, my mom's here. I have to go. Bye, Ryan. Bye, Emma. Bye. Aw, she seems so sweet. Yeah, Rai, she seems nice. It really sucks how I can't date her. She's so cute, and I like her a lot. Ryan, Dad and I already told you, you're too young. Both you and her are way too young to date. But it seems like you have a great new friend. Yeah, Rai, boys and girls can be friends. Overall, it's so nice of you to make her feel welcome, honey. I can't imagine how hard all this must be for her. Moving, changing schools, starting over. I know, Mom. I hope I never have to go through that. I hope I never have to go through that either. It'd be hard leaving all of my friends. I hope so too, guys. Now we better get home. I have a therapy appointment at 4. For work, right? Yes, honey. Now come on, let's go.